Hello, Gisaren. How are you? Thanks so much. What about you? Oh, I'm also okay. Uh, so, could you tell us about this special project? Uh, this project is a small-scale project between Turkey and Holland. Um, and the name of the project is Go Digital for a Greener Future. And you, as you can understand from the name of the project, our main issue is just to create a better, much greener um, world environment for our next generations. Uh, as a cooperation between Tedankara College and Farandong College in Aston. Uh, and uh, whose was this idea to create this project? Um, actually, uh, one of the teachers was also working in our school previously, Eminoja, and we had, an, of course, a friendship and relationship. And when she moved to here, we thought that we can have, we can start a partnership between these two schools, because uh, we thought that, uh, especially, uh, you know, the UNESCO has um, 17 goals for the next generations, the sustainable development goals, and by highlighting those goals, we thought that we can create some lesson plans materials um, in a cooperation between these two schools, um, then Emine uh, has helped us uh, to create that partnership. Uh, we worked on this project actually for uh, six months last year, and in six months we could create, uh, we could finish the application form, and uh, when we applied for the uh, Dutch National Agency, they accepted, uh, and we started to work on the project uh, in September 2022. Hello, Nilce. Uh, could you tell me why you decided to join this project and what exactly does it mean for your school? Um, so we've been working together with um, eight Turkish uh, colleagues on a project about sustainability. Um, and for us as a school, it's always very important to work together with other, uh, uh, other parties, other companies, other uh, countries even, other students. Um, and of course, about sustainability goals, um, they are very important for everyone, for, for example, for children in the future, right? Uh, and uh, which goals uh, have you already reached? Uh, well, um, it's not as if uh, we can reach the goals itself, but we can uh, at least try and um, raise awareness about the goals. Um, amongst other teachers, but also the students and everyone we, we came in, into contact with. Um, so we've been uh, selecting a few goals and created lessons around those goals. Um, and hopefully, um, well, I think we, we managed well, um, but uh, uh, well, we had students work on different uh, assignments in those goals. I see on the table interest in the paper, so yeah. could you tell? Yes, uh, those papers uh, are certificates for the students and also for the teachers who have been participating in this project. And Nilce, and uh, what hike in this uh, title? Well, you, you can see many things uh, on this certificate. For example, the title of the project, which is Go Digital for a Greener Future. Um, and of course, working together with students from Turkey, we've done that using uh, online teaching methods and programs such as MS Teams, for example. Uh, so we went digital to work on a greener future together. And also, um, many times in our project, when we've reached a goal or when we've organized an event, uh, we also try to go digital, use uh, media, for example, um, to spread the word and raise awareness even uh, beyond the borders of the school. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'd like to welcome you all today for our closing ceremony uh, of our Erasmus project entitled Go Digital for a Green Future. Sorry about my voice. It's uh, just because I've been talking too much and I've tired myself, I guess. But uh, I hope it sounds sexy. That's what most people said to me. At least I'm, uh, I, I hope it is. So, uh, most distinguished guests, I see some uh, parents. Thank you very much that you're here today. My dear colleagues, both Turkish colleagues and the Dutch colleagues, 
welcome all, and of course our dear pupils who are here present today, but have been with us for this very long time, for, uh, for a couple of weeks, uh, doing the pilot lessons. Thank you very much. I, uh, well, we thought that we'd like to start off with some, uh, with some fun, and that's a video that we have created, um, me and Hassan together. So I hope you're going to enjoy it. There is our video. Let's have a look. And this enthusiasm. Oh, yes, the high night. Well, the high night was... Um, Thank you very much, because it was only possible with you guys. Thank you. Um, I'd like to give the floor to our director, Robert Weymans, please. Well, thank you. It's nice to see you all again. Uh, I hope you had um, uh, some nice and wonderful days here in Holland. You're leaving with the good weather, um, but maybe when you're back, the weather's even better. I think so. Okay. Most distinguished guests, colleagues and dear pupils, a very warm welcome to you all. It's with heartfelt, sincere pleasure and gratitude to stand before you. Thank you for all your efforts in conducting this invaluable Erasmus project called Go Digital for a Greener Future. I should confess that when I first heard about the project to be implemented within the context of Erasmus, I never considered where it may lead us to. I was told that it was something about a greener future, something about going digital, something about preparing lesson plans and reaching out to all teachers in the world. While all those some things were yet to be explored by me, you had in the meantime already reached a milestone in a very short time. Well, I must say that this has been an outstanding project. You have not only opened a window of opportunity for a, a sustainable future, but actually realized sustainability in the lessons here at Farendonk and at your own school. Many, many thanks. As you are all familiar, the United Nations defines sustainable development as the development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. In other words, the world is facing the danger of running out of resources. Thus, we must use these resources conservatively and carefully to ensure that the future generations will have enough to maintain their lives. But while doing so, we must not decrease the quality of our present life. This means that we must incorporate the pillars of sustainability and change into a sustainable society. And where can this change start if not in education? Referring back to my prior question, now I know where this project led us to. It led us to the next step in which you are going to spread your knowledge and experience to the world on a digital platform. And honestly, it has not only opened a small window, but opened a gigantic door. Go Digital for a Greener Future will enable all the educators in the world to share knowledge and implement sustainability goals in their lessons to create awareness and plant the seeds of change. Your dedication, contrib uh, contribution and cooperation between Ted Ankara College and Varendon College made this possible. Thank you, thank you for this wonderful initiative. Many thanks. And now the certificates. And uh, those people are our students because we really could not have done it without you. Uh, we know it wasn't always easy because you had to do all of this besides your normal schedule. You had to miss some lessons, you had to um, 
Also make sure you, uh, on your own, uh, knew what those lessons were, what the homework was. Um, there, we thought it would have only been the lessons and then you also had to do some extra things, sometimes things you didn't expect it, and you guys were always there. Um, you were always positive, enthusiastic. Um, I joined you guys uh, one morning for the swap event, which I thought was great to see how well you did that and how, uh, how you guys worked together. And, um, it was really, really wonderful for us to see, and uh, it was for us a real contribution to the project. We thought we would only need you guys for some feedback, uh, but uh, it turned into much more. So thank you very, very much. Also, uh, on behalf of all the other teachers, you can give yourself a round of applause because you deserve it. And uh, we want to show you, show our appreciation uh, in writing, so that you can also show it uh, to uh, any future universities. <laughs> Many thanks, thank you. Okay, here you are, your certificate. Thank yeah. you. Congratulations, thanks. thank you. Okay, thanks. Jana, thank you, congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> congratulations, <laughs> thank you. Niels, congratulations, thank, thank you. you. We also have certificates for all the participating teachers. My walking mate, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, so, you so much. Thank you okay. so much. Walking partner, thank, thank you very much. You okay. Much. Okay, okay. okay. Gilsren, thank, thank you. Okay, thank you. Yakan, thank you very much. Okay. Emine, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We also have a certificate for the Dutch. Wow, thank you all, Patricia. Thank you all, Karen. Okay, thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all. Wow. <laughs> thank you. And Neeltje. Nou, Neeltje, thank you all. Thank you all. Will you have it? Will you have it? Wow. Thank you all. Hello, Emine. Uh, I want to ask you what this project especially means for you. Um, well, it, it means a great deal actually because uh, this project is beyond a project. It's of course very important because we have created um, a, a project uh, called Go Digital for a Greener Future um, and, and created uh, lesson plans and materials to somehow implement uh, uh, sustainability goals uh, in our lessons. However, beyond that, it has a very powerful meaning to me because I have been uh, working with two countries actually the Netherlands and and Turkey and um, well Turkey the the colleagues with whom I have been working with are actually my former colleagues and um, I'm now working with the Dutch colleagues of course so I have I think and I hope that I have achieved to be a, a cultural bridge between these two countries and I think that I uh, have played a role in in um, introducing these cultures and um, create a platform or an environment in which these two different people from different backgrounds could bond with each other and learn from each other. And I think that was amazing. So I feel proud in a way. Yes, I do. 